tell us about yourself uh, my name is kashyap contractor and i am from india i am a ex student of engineering institute of technology i did my masters in mechanical and i am graduated last year in december 2022 Uh, back in India, I am experienced of six years as a QAQC inspector. I found EIT on an education seminar back in India, so that's why I started research on that, and I took admission in EIT. So during your studies, what skills did you get during your course, and how does it connect with your job which you are doing? In my entire masters of mechanical engineering, I found. remote laboratories in which i have learned few softwares solidworks and autocad i found that it it will be very helpful when i was doing my masters because it connects really very in a positive way in my industrial career because whenever i am going on site i have to refer all the structural and pressure equipment drawings and i have to read it so i learn in a good way and i got such a good support from the professor to how to use that software and uh, how to make a design in that software how did your eit lecturers supported and guided you during your studies and beyond my case is very uh, unique case because i got admitted in eit during the pandemic and i started online from india while i was working so throughout the online education when i was in india i got such a good support from dr milind dr aarti professor hari singh professor vimal and professor vijay vira because whenever i am attending a live lecture if i have some queries i just uh, pop a message in that and i just get a fast reply from the professor and my query at the time the sorted out so that was a good experience and if i am telling about my uh, assessment which is on a research base like uh, assessment 3 and assessment 4 in that case whenever i stuck in a problem i directly sent an email to the professor who would teach me and within 2 hours i got a reply like in a positive way so it was very informative and helpful for us because as an international student what we want we want a back support what we are studying so in that manner i got a huge support from dr milind and dr aarti thank you thanks for the support if is there any word beyond thanks then that word will be for you <laughs> thank you thank you appreciate that what unit was your favorite unit during your course and why i would say cad cam and solid works two two units were the best unit for me i found those two units very informative because i like to learn design i love to make a new design and all autocad and solid works is the software every students can use it doesn't matter who are in civil engineering who are in structural engineering who are doing a uh, mechanical engineering AutoCAD and SolidWorks is there so that's why AutoCAD and SolidWorks is best for me and i found those two subjects very informative uh, kashyap did you do any internship or job during your studies or after the study how did you get that either internship or job uh yes i got a job during my third semester means uh, second year first semester of my masters in mechanical when i came in australia in two months i got a full time job and for a job i would say the resume is a good identity for the students it doesn't matter student is experienced or not but if you articulate your resume like what are the expertise in a technical way and what are the expertise in your theoretical way so it will be good and uh, yeah i got a job when i was student uh follow up question uh, so in order to transition from being a student to getting a full time job what are the gaps or what are the gaps which students should feel in order to be a uh, 
you know, you know be a good engineer, a working engineer. When I tried to come to Australia, I made my English level was not that good, but I was not too confident to speak in English and give a presentation. But when I came here, I got such a good support. It boosted my confidence level. Communication skills and technical knowledge is the good. Whenever professor asks for a presentation, then student has to give the presentation without any hesitation. So it will be a good key to speak with client or with the representative of client. So what advices or suggestions would you give to current students? Do not hesitate to approach right person if you are stuck somewhere else in, a, in assessment. So whenever you students have questions, please send an email to a professor or a course coordinator. What additional skills or certification students should do in order to get a job? Uh, I would say all students should have uh, two to three tickets to get a job. Uh, one is construction induction white card. So it will be very helpful to get a job in mines if if students wants to do fly in fly out and rope access and try to get a training in rope access. So it will be a six month intensive. And I would say apart from those two tickets, confined space and work safety at height. If these four tickets, if students have, then they will get job easily. All right, Kashyap, can you tell us about uh, the final year project or thesis which you did in your Master of Engineering and Mechanical? So in my final year project, I made a, I made a project on a software called ANSYS. So in that software, I made 2D IC engine. So I use this software for my project, but I would say ANSYS software is very useful in a, practical career as well like if students are going outside for a job so in a mechanical laboratories they are first we have to make a small job on ANSYS and just try to research on that and then if is there any positive outcome on the software then we can replicate with the practical so ANSYS software is very helpful for me. So follow up question, since you are saying uh, you have used AutoCAD, SOLIDWORKS, ANSYS, different software while you were studying online from India and then you came here and still there was a pandemic going on. So how did you find using this software uh, on a EIT remote labs? So EIT remote lab is very easy to access. AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS will help a lot to make a design like we can use that software in a piping in a pressure vessel or in a structural engineering so in that case if student can come to know about how to read all the drawings in a, all the all the sides like left hand side view right hand side view so if student learn this subject online or offline or like use the remote lab and try practice on that. Yes. It will be very helpful and informative for them because in maximum industries, AutoCAD is on the top. So according to the software skills, they will get a good job. So AutoCAD, SOLIDWORKS and ANSYS, all these softwares are best and every student has to focus on that first to get a job, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.